protections have been pretty good. We haven't just had guys coming free and us not know. Uh, and again, that comes from Terry, you know, being a playing 13 games last year. That comes with Sawyer playing a bunch of games at Troy. So you got two older guys that have been in fires, and you know, Sawyer's still learning the offense, but he's getting more and more comfortable. Uh, I, I do like where we are right now. In Terry's case, just in terms of the, the year's experience, like knowing how long to stay on a read before you go through a progression, how big a difference does that kind of thing make? Well, it's it's huge. You know, another thing we've done is we've really curtailed the offense to him and, and to Sawyer, and you're not seeing a whole lot of different offense because we can run the same with both. So that's that's that that was really uh, good to see. And again, Terry is, you know, we've simplified some things and we've and he has some complicated reads and he's learning how to read through those. We've narrowed it down though, where he doesn't have a whole lot. And I think it's really clean in his mind, which is huge. So where is he compared to this time? Now? Oh, it's night and day where he was last year compared to this year. It's not. A, I mean, it's it's you know, last year it was it was so much sticking on one guy, you know, not knowing the protections that well, um, and you know his RPOs and all his decision making. We had to we you know he had to learn as he went last season, and now he's he's really doing well at it. Now, can we get better? Heck yeah, we got to get better in all areas. But the biggest thing that you, you that I've seen from last year to this year is our deep ball. He has given the wide receivers chances to catch the ball down the field, and that is huge. You're not seeing overthrown balls anymore. You're not seeing out-of-bounds throws anymore. We've really worked on the deep ball. Are we great at it? No, but we are giving our wide receivers chances. We're, we're really fine-tuning that. Sawyer has done a great job with the deep ball. So that is, that is very exciting compared to last year. Um, you know, we just went through camp, and, and we didn't complete that many, and we've completed a lot more. Uh, this year than we did last year, so you know that has been a huge improvement for us. But we still got to get better. We can't we can't ever think we've arrived ever. The minute you do that, you're not going to complete anything. If if Sawyer has to go in a game, how comfortable are you with oh, him? I'm very comfortable with him. Yeah, uh, he'll be nervous. You know, he's he's uh, he's a great kid, but he's been in those wars. He understands. And uh, the the bottom line is is that he has thrown the deep ball very good, which is exciting for us to see that he has really good touch. He knows how to drop it in there. And he was good at Troy throwing the deep ball, so that makes sense. He's comfortable doing it. He's good at his RPO reads. He did a lot at Troy, so that's a lot what we do. So again, I'm I'm I feel very comfortable with him in the game. Uh, if he's got to go in there and go play, how does Amani Gilmore look? Amani's been doing uh, very. He's got from from when he came into camp <laughs> to where he was like a, you know, I call it like a break a, bro, a baby giraffe kind of deal, where you're trying to learn all the different things and the steps, and you're wobbling and you're not sure. He has now gotten to where he can function and go run our offense, which I'm excited. You know, so that so he's improved. Is is he in a position right now where he can go out there and go take the chains? Not yet, but he is getting better and better every day. And then Walker Wood has gotten better. You know, the, the, you got to understand he's been through surgeries and surgeries and everything. This is finally his his time where he's healed and he's gotten better. He's not where I want him right now, but. He, he's gotten better. His last scrimmage was the best he's ever played here since he's been here. Coach, have you worked with Lim Bowden at all or given him any tips for those times when he gets in there and has a chance to? Oh, yeah, yeah. We all give Lynn tips. Everybody wants Coach Cran, everybody, <laughs> Coach Stoops. So, yeah, but Lynn, Lynn's going to play some quarterback for us in different, different situations and, you know, run and throwing and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, he's, he's a talented kid, and we got to find ways to get him the ball for sure. Is he going to be the primary Wildcat guy now that Benny's gone? No, we will have we'll have uh, multiple Wildcat guys and and multiple Wildcat guys just like we always do. It is saying that he likes Terry's leadership, but he'd like for him to be a little more vocal. Correct. Is that, I mean, if your experience with guys is that hard to bring out of them when they're not naturally a vocal guy like that? Well, it's it's it, it goes with confidence, and you know, and, and Terry again has gained so much confidence where he is, and he is being vocal. He is. But do we want him to be more vocal? Yes. Yes, we do. We'd like him to be more vocal. And again, just like any quarterback, you want him to be, to be a leader. And again, to lead, you got to lead by example first. And that's the first thing is, is to go out there and do your job the very best. And then Terry's not a guy that's going to get on. He's an encourager. That's just his attitude and who he is. And that's what we want him to do, just encourage when guys are down. And again, I think he's got a really good rapport with our wide receivers, our tight ends, and our O-line. Uh, and our running backs, you know, AJ and him are around each other all the time. So I think he's he's really, really, you know, in depth with all of our offense.